Have you noticed every company today wants to tell you how their product or service only costs as much as a cup of coffee a day? Uh, when did coffee become the universal currency of affordability? <laughs> You've got fitness apps telling you it's less than a cup of coffee a day for unlimited classes. Music streaming services, oh, it's just the price of your daily latte. <laughs> Some new cloud storage for your 10,000 selfies. Don't worry, it's cheaper than your morning cappuccino. <laughs> Why stop there? Maybe the mortgage company could say, don't worry about the $2,000 a month. It's just like buying 400 cups of coffee. The car dealer could be like, sure, this car costs $30,000, but that's just the equivalent of 10,000 cups of coffee. Now, doesn't that sound reasonable? And they always use a fancy coffee as the comparison. You ever notice that? It's never the dollar coffee from the gas station. It's always a latte, cappuccino, or a mocha. No one ever says it's just like your daily can of soda. You know what's funny, though? I've never heard a coffee shop say, for the price of one month of Netflix, you can get a coffee here every day. Maybe because they know we'd start saying, wait a minute, that's pretty expensive. <laughs> I tell you, this coffee comparison is getting out of hand. It's like they think we're all wandering around with an extra cup of coffee's worth of money in our pockets at all times. Next time a company tries to tell me their service is only a coffee a day, I might just tell them, well, I'll have to give up my daily coffee then, won't I? Uh, then we'll see how they react to losing their price comparison model.